case was worth. So I called the Barnes firm. I was hit by a car and needed help. I called the Barnes firm. That was the best call I could have made. I'm Rich Barnes. It's hard for people to know how much their accident case is worth. Let our injury attorneys help you get the best result possible. The Barnes firm. Injury attorneys call 1-800. Now at noon, former President Trump set to arrive moments from now in New York City, where he has a day to appear in court tomorrow. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Trump is expected to face dozens of fraud charges in that Manhattan courtroom tomorrow. We have live team coverage, including a live report from our nation's capital. But we begin with Lauren Lister who is following the former president's case in our newsroom. Lauren? Yeah, Glenn and Lou, former President Donald Trump said to be arriving in New York any moment where he is set to be arraigned Tuesday. Let's take a live look now at LaGuardia Airport in New York. That is where uh, we are going to be see the president touch down any moment his flight supposed to arrive at noon our time, which is right now. Uh, Trump seen here taking off from Palm Beach International this morning. There you see the plane that bears his name. Uh, as I mentioned, headed to LaGuardia, where we are set to see him set touch down around noon, a day away from becoming the first former U.S. president to enter a plea on criminal charges. His motorcade leaving his Mar-a-Lago resort earlier with some supporters lining the way. Some supporters waving U.S. flags and Trump banners as his motorcade passed by. Tonight, Trump will trade Mar-a-Lago for Trump Tower, where he is set to spend the night. And tomorrow, he's set to turn himself into authorities in Manhattan. Trump was indicted last week by a Manhattan grand jury. The charges stem from hush money payments made to Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential campaign. She is the former adult film actress who says she had a sexual encounter with Trump years earlier. Trump denied having had an affair with her and says he did nothing wrong. The indictment is under seal, so we don't know specific crimes he's accused of, but the Associated Press reports he's charged with as many as 30 counts of falsifying business records, including at least one felony. Here's his attorney Sunday on ABC News this week. We're way too early to start deciding what motions we're going to file or not file. Um, and, and we do need to see the indictment and, and get to work. I mean, look, Tuesday's just the beginning. Trump, for his part, is expected to be fingerprinted, supposed to be photographed, though now reportedly it's uncertain if there will be a mugshot. He's not likely to be handcuffed. Then he will appear before a judge, and the whole time the Secret Service agents will be escorting him. His legal team says the former president will plead not guilty, and in new developments, he's hired a new attorney to serve as lead counsel on his... Instruction are not part of legitimate lawful expression and it will never be tolerated in our city. That message as they gear up for potential protests. Now, after Trump's court hearing, he plans to return to Florida and he has scheduled a primetime speech from Mar a Lago tomorrow evening in front of his supporters. Now, one thing we don't know yet will cameras be allowed in the courtroom during his arraignment? We know Trump's team has opposed it, but we are awaiting a decision from the judge. That's the latest live in the newsroom. We'll continue following this developing story. Glenn, for now, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Lauren. The lawmakers from both sides are reacting to former President Trump's indictment. Republican leaders say it is politically motivated. KTLA 5's Trevor Shirley reports from Washington, D.C. with more. Those charges are expected to be revealed on Tuesday, along with the arraignment of the former president. Congressional Republicans, for the most part, are coming to the defense of former President Donald Trump. I think really we ought to all just, uh, you know, let the criminal process uh, play out. I do think this is politically motivated. Democrats argue the former president must be held to account like any other American. The rule of law yeah, is that basically no one's above the law, but no one should be targeted by the law. Almost uniform.